Isang magandang buhay para sa ating lahat. Okay, so this will be the last part of our lecture for the riveted and bolted connection and tension, remember? For the load transfer at actually loaded connections, so the holes in tension members are normally for rivets or bolts to transfer load from one tension member into another. So the assumption is that each equal size fastener tra uh, transfers equal share of the loads when they are arranged sy symmetrically with the respect to the centroidal axis of a tension member. If the connectors or if connectors in a tension lap splice are arranged in two or more unstaggered rows, and if the rows have an equal numbers of fasteners, each fracture line should be checked for tension capaci capacity, assuming that the previous fracture lines have absorbed a proportionate share of the load. So we have if tearing occurs along with the first row, see the full tensile force P acts on the net area. Thus, P is equal to Fi A raised to N, where A raised to N is equal to AM. If tearing occurs along succeeding rows, less than 100% of P acts on the net area, since part of the force will already transfer, been transferred to the other plate. So we have the A and actual net is less than or equal to 85% of your AG. You have to look for that. So the N is the total number of bolts, where the N is the number of bolts in front of the section being considered. You, that's the small N. So we're looking at the tearing along the first row. Ayan. Ito yung second tearing the, along the succeeding row. Ayan. Ayan. Diba? So the tension on net area, so we are going to use for the F tension or FT is equal to 0 0.5 of FU where your value of FU is 400 megapascal. So solving for the FT that is 200 megapascal. So the whole of diameter is 16 plus 1.6 so that is 17.6 mm. So along the first row, so we have to look for the E. A raised to N, A prime A and N or the A N is equal to A N. So, wet W net multiplied for the T. So, your 200 minus 17.6 multiplied for the thickness or T. So, we have the A N is 1824 millimeter squared net area. N. So, to get for the 85% of the AG. So we have and 1,700 millimeters kasi multiply mo yung yung 184 1824 1824 multiplied by 85% of the AG. Kaya lang kasi limitito doon your AG is the value of AG is 1.7. Ito. Kaya lang nung ito ang ginamit natin kasi uh, ito yung AN natin is 1.824. So we have to use the value of the AG. Yung sinod natin dati. Yan. So AAN pala yun. Kasi pag ginamit natin ay makukuha natin 1.5 dito, pag kinuha natin yung 85% dito, eh, masyado maliit. Diba? So, along the second row, so, we have the net multiplied the thickness, so, we have here, 1472, less than the AG. Kasi, alam natin, 1.17 ang kagamitin natin. Ayan, o. Oh. So use the value of EN is 1472. So for the A prime is we have 1840 
mm squared. Diba? Eh, mas malaki pa rin. Mas malaki to compared to the value. So, we have to use 317 millimeters squared. Governed by the tearing along the first row. So, P is equal to F T multiplied by A raised to N or apostrophe N that is 200 multiplied is 1.7 So, we have 340,000 or 340 kN. That's the value of P that we're going to use. Or yung hinahanap natin. In order hinahanap natin. <laughs> but, the same P is 152 kN. Governed by the shear on rivets. So, kailangan makita nyo lahat nung... Uh, di ba remember, last time, binigay ko sa inyo yung mga tables. So, kailangan talaga yun. So, we have to check for that. Okay. So, another problem. So, we have a plate with um, 400 millimeter and the thickness of 212 millimeter is to be connected to a plate of the same width and thickness by 20, 34 millimeter diameter. Both are shown. So, the holes are 2 millimeter larger than the bolts diameter. So, the plate is 836. We are going to use the 836 strength of 248 megapascal. So, we have to assume that the allowable tensile stress is 0 0.6 of Fy. So, it is required to determine the value of B such that the net width along the bolts of 1, 2, 3, 4 is equal to the net width along the bolts of 1, 2, 4. So, we have to calculate the value of B in millimeters. So, to calculate the value of the net area for tension in plates is square millimeters. So, we have to calculate the value of P so that the allowable tensile stress on net area will not be exceeded. So, yan makikita natin. So, ito yung bolt 1, 2, 3, 4. So, we're looking for the value of B. Yeah. And P. So, kasi pag hinati na lang kanya. Yeah. So, this 400 millimeters. And then, 150 millimeters for this one. So, check na the spacing nila. That is 100 millimeters. Ang layo nila. So, bawat isa. So, so we have to look for the staggered holes. So, the holes are sometimes staggered according to the section 502.3 for a chain of holes exceeding, extending across a part in any diagonal or zigzag line. So, the net width of the part shall be obtained by deducting from the gross width the sum of the diameter or slot dimensions of all holes in the chain and adding for each gauge space in the chain the quantity. So, we have to do, solve for the WN or gross. So, so we chain of the hole plus the S squared over 4G. Or, AN is equal to A gross is equal to summation of holes plus S squared over 4G multiplied for the thickness where S is the longi long longitudinal center to the center spacing or a pitch of any two consecutive holes where G is transverse center to center spacing gauge between fastener gauge lines in terms of millimeters so for the load transfer axillary loaded connections See, the holes in tension members are normally for rivets or bolts to transfer loads from one tension member into another. So, the assumption is that each equal size fastener, fastener's transfers equal share of the loads when they are arranged symmetrically with the respect of the, to the centroidal axis of the tension members. If the connect, if connectors in a tension lap splice are arranged in two or more unstaggered rows, and if the rows have an equal number or fasteners, its fractures line should be checked for tension. Capacity, assuming that the previous fracture lines have absorbed a proportionate share of the load. So these are the figure. 
So pag chinek natin, ito, ito yun, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then tsaka 1, 2, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then 1, 2, 4. So for part A, so we have 1, 2, 4. Yun natin staggered. Yan. So or kailangan equal dito sa gross width ng 1, 2, 3, 4. So look na din. So this is 400 minus 3 times the 34 plus 2 plus 60 plus 60 divided by 4 over 100 <coughs> plus 500 minus B over 4 divided by 200. So using this formula for this one, we got the media the end. Kasi 400 to yung gross width, ima-minus natin ito, yan, yung negative holes, kasi plus this one, yan, isa-isayin natin, di ba? So, we're going to get is 20.5. So, we're looking for the value of B. <coughs> So, solving for the value of B, makakapagkamag tayo sa isang quadratic equation. So, using the formula for the quadratic equation, that is negative B plus minus square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. So, we're going to use the, the this one. Makukuha natin value ng B is 19.71 millimeter. So, for the critical net area for tension on plate, so we have to consider the 1, 2, 3, 4 or 1, 2, 4. So, 1, 2, 3, 4 or 1, 2, 4. So, 400. So, we have to substitute the value of B. Kung sinatitit yung value B, makukuha natin net width that is 322.22 millimeters. So, yun yung makukuha natin value. Look natin, consider ito yung pat 1, 2, 3. So, substitute na nuli natin. Check natin. So, makakuha naman natin doon ay 301.97 millimeters. Di ba? So, 322. Ngunit yan. Yan yung mga value ng atin, depende kung anong gusto natin sa dalawang pat, considering pat pero we have to adapt this one kasi ito yung mas mababa compared sa diso, masyado siya mataas so critical net area so this one, we have to multiply it by the thickness of 12 so we have 3624 millimeters squared so that will be the critical net area so solving for the same value of P So, yan. 0.6 of F, 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 Y, that is 248. So, we have the value of P is 539,251 newton or 539.251 kilonewton. So, this will be the value of P. So, yan. So, makita nyo yung ating critical value. So this will end our lecture for the riveted and bolted connections. So this will be the last part. So I hope na meron kayong natutunan. So see you in the next lecture. Ciao!